I'm Mara Lee. I am an assistant director of Bronco Fit and campus dietitian. Thank you so much for participating in the race. I hope most importantly, you all have a great fun time training and doing the race. It is really just most about having fun and it's a great time to celebrate our bodies. It's amazing how our brain and our heart and our muscles and our lungs and our bones all work together to help us move. And when I run or walk, I sometimes just run through my body parts that are working and just say a quick thank you to my toes for keeping me balanced or for my arms for helping propel me forward. So hopefully you can have fun celebrating your body and all it's accomplishing while you do this race. As a dietitian, I know how important it is to uh, fuel our body so that it can work well. And I hope that I can give you some good tips that will keep you fueled well. Uh, we all need carbohydrates, proteins, fats, vitamins, minerals, and water. The best way to do that is just through getting a variety of foods um, amongst and within the different food groups. Depending on your goals and your activity, you may have slightly different nutrition strategies. But here's a few tips that I think will help anyone. First, eat a varied and balanced meals throughout the day when you're hungry. So listen to your body, let it tell you when it's hungry, and then get a combination of carbohydrates, proteins, um, vegetable and or fruits at those meals. So some ideas could be chili with a baked potato, it could be a barbecue sandwich with some coleslaw, uh, veggie quiche with some blueberries, or my personal favorite before race day, I love to have pizza the dinner before my race um, the next day. I can also eat pizza just about any time. Uh, if you need, supplement with snacks. If you Google Bronco Fit Eats, you can find some snack ideas on our webpage. Uh, I love peanut butter bites. Those are a great pick-me-up. Or some cheese and fruit or hummus and pretzels also are a great pick-me-up for me as well. Okay, we talked about food. Next is water. Go ahead and drink lots of water throughout the day. Um, if you are not peeing a light yellow every few hours, then you may want to grab a glass of water and start drinking. I love water, so I drink it like it's going out of style, but if you need some help with some flavor, uh, go ahead and drop some fruit into your water bottle. One of my favorites is to take the pineapple core and just drop it straight into my water bottle. It adds some tang and sweetness, and I would have just thrown that core away anyway. Um, I also love some apples and cinnamon sticks for a little spice. Okay, so hopefully between eating some balanced uh, meals and snacks as needed and drinking throughout the day, you can just be fueled for success. If you're running a little bit longer of a race or doing uh, some longer workouts, I have a few additional tips. One, try to eat a carbohydrate and protein meal. Pretty, not, it doesn't have to be huge, but about 60 to 120 minutes before your workout. That'll just help increase your stamina throughout the workout. Um, and you may wanna play around with the timing to see what works best for your digestion. We're all a little bit different. Then throughout your race, if you're going longer than 60 minutes, it's really valuable to have some carbohydrate and electrolytes along with your water. You can do that through food or a sports drink. And then last but not least, after you finish a long work workout, try to have a protein carbohydrate snack about 30 minutes afterwards. That will just really help your muscles replenish after a long workout. And then eat a meal, just a balanced meal, about two hours after finishing. Thank you so much for helping support Broncos. I hope you enjoy and have a lot of fun. And if you have any more nutrition questions, you can check out Bronco Fit Eats. Again, just Google Bronco Fit Eats and you can find more recipes and ideas for your nutrition. Have fun, Broncos.